let's do the math like really quick, okay? Alicia signs a multiple fight contract with Matchroom January 2022. She had four fights. She has a mandatory now who is Chow, right? When you have a mandatory, you don't necessarily have to have a promoter. Like mine went to a bid. And what happened to my fight? I was supposed to fight like June 24th or something like that. They asked me to sign a match room for three more fights. I was like, let's let's finish this mandatory and figure out what's going to happen. What happened? Because I did not sign the contract with match room. They took my opponent and gave her to Terry Harper. At that point, I had no fight. I had to sign back up with match room for a couple more fights. With her, she got a fight choice. And they're not saying, hey, Alicia signed another multiple fight contract. They're saying Alicia pop hot. So maybe she's not signing the contract. Maybe she's like putting Matchroom in a corner somewhere and they don't like that. So all of a sudden, quote unquote, she pops hot. Fuck out of here. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the channel. This is the RTH Podcast, man. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm checking in, man. So, I've done my research on it, bro. If you don't know nothing about me, or if you do know something about me, man, you know I don't like to just put a jacket on anybody, bro. I like to go and um, do my research first before I start saying anything, bro, because I don't want to come off as stupid or dumb. You dig what I'm saying? Which is why I haven't said anything about the Alicia Bomb Garner situation. I knew about it when it happened. I just didn't say nothing, bro. I wanted to see everything come out. Um, I like both of these ladies, Christina Leonardo too, and Alicia Bomb Garner. I think they're both pretty good fighters. And it is what it is. Saying that to say, the reason why I titled this video um, Drug Cheat or um, Foul Play from Matchroom Boxing is because of what you guys heard from Jessica McCaskill in the earlier half of the introduction okay now since then she has recanted her statement but that's due to uh eddie hearn uh trying to uh invoke legal matters on her and you kind of got to respect that bro just take your statement back and you don't get in trouble for it leave a reasonable doubt into the eyes of the public and then they cannot uh sue her for what she said but what she said in my opinion was real and i'm going to stick on that i'm going to stand on that i'm going to show you guys a lot of the uh behind the scenes going on right now with alicia but i'm going to end this video i'm also going to take the affirmative on this too i'm going to say that alicia but i'm going to did take the peds as well we're going to stand on that as well now in that scenario bro i cannot show you guys the footage because i'll get in trouble with uh as far as the the copyright infringement is concerned but i'm going to ask you guys to go and do your own research and if you want to take my word for it you can if you don't want to take my word for it you ain't got to all right let's get into this so <clears throat> there is a elite level promoter in the boxing game who also stated uh, on the record how he felt about the alicia bomb going to situation we're going to play that right now i'm gonna get back with my commentary after that let's go first of all is the drug free sport do not have the same standard and do not test for substances that bar the test for and you can test for them, like uh, epo they don't test for you uh, human growth hormone um, which is not acceptable um, it's no good that somebody takes a tet, takes a sample and puts it on a shelf for nine days before submitting it to a laboratory because all you're doing there is giving a lawyer an opportunity to take that whole process apart. Um, if she was to have a hearing, and I'm sure that something's going to be worked out, at that hearing, if she's found to be that she did do something, she should be banned. But they've left a lot of loopholes for her to get out. What I found concerning was apparently she allegedly was going to leave Matram and go and sign with Jake Paul. Um, so you can look into that which way you want. All right, so you guys heard what he said in so many words. If she's uh, found guilty, she should be banned from the sport. I do agree with that statement. She should be banned, and they should strip up her titles. I'm on that same bandwagon. But he also stated that uh, it was a possibility that uh, Alicia Baumgartner was going to go to MVP Promotions, which is owned by Jake Paul, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Saying that to say that's a very big deal, and that's where uh, the same kind of energy 
of Jessica McCaskill was coming from. That gentleman you guys just seen was Frank Warren of, uh, I think, the uh, Queensberry Promotions. So you guys know that he's a big dog in the sport of boxing. And for him to say that and Jessica McCaskill to say that, both at the same time, um, it, it, it rings a bell to me. But here is another piece of the puzzle that rings a bell to me that it might be foul play from the likes of match room boxing okay let's get into this particular scenario right here and this is uh the update from match room boxing and what they had to say about alicia Baumgarner and her update okay it says match room boxing can today confirm that alicia Baumgarner returned in adverse uh analytical finding as a part of a random anti-doping protocol instituted voluntarily for her bout with christina leonardo too in detroit on july the 15th okay i want you guys to hold that date july the 15th let's hold the date it says matchroom was first informed of the results on uh the 12th of august okay um so basically how did these guys not know right they found out about uh the likes of um dillian white prior to the fight they found out the likes of um Gerald Big Baby Miller prior to the fight um and they found out the likes of Conor Ben the week of the fight how all of a sudden when it comes to Alicia Baumgartner they find out an entire month later all right all right now to figure out that she's about to leave the brand and leave the company because it's her turn to move on with her career and now this is coming out a month later it's, it's kind of fishy right if you don't see it that way i do okay so let's get into um another half of this particular scenario right um christina leonardo too was brought to the forefront and she had a lot to say about um what happened as you guys can see um in this particular scenario prior well you got to go to the x uh because I, I didn't put this in here but um prior to this particular scenario it was all love between these two um leonardo too had uh thanked um alicia baumgarner for just giving her the opportunity to have a fight for a championship match alicia baumgarner returned the favor by saying you're okay you're a great person the whole nine and it was all love all right saying that to say since then she says after the fight alicia baumgarner her trainer asked me um the difference between uh the first fight and the second fight um i told him that the only difference was uh that this time she was stronger now i understand why and she's alerting to uh alluding to a uh, ped usage she also stated um you have a lot of nerve uh i beat you in 18 and i was probably going to beat you again but you had the extra boost again alluding to uh ped usage she says uh uh fighting in your hometown you had two referees from detroit uh one from detroit and the other one's from miami <clears throat> excuse me enough uh wasn't enough she was like uh waiting for you to prove your innocence uh that i don't think is possible but here's what alicia what i'm going to have to say she says strength was never my issue and i'm gonna get to that in a few seconds uh she says uh you felt that in 18 uh you even said it yourself <clears throat> excuse me my voice is just cracking uh so the only thing that uh got stronger was my will to win and my understanding that you were never on my level okay and the last thing she says is uh, it doesn't bother me to lose i work on my mistakes to make myself better but i won't forgive uh going through uh uh hell of giving uh, going through hell giving birth uh to fight to the highest level and face a cheater she was like let's wait to see uh let's wait to find out the truth okay in so many words right so this is what she had to say now i'm going to get to this particular portion of my my video and let you guys know bro i can't 100 percent say that alicia bomb going wasn't on peds bro i'm not in her camp and i'm not here to back her in this particular scenario she's a grown-ass woman do it yourself she have a legal team do it yourself it is what it is in that aspect but bro let me tell y'all something from a person who actually watched female boxing bro she been knocking women around her entire career bro i ain't gonna hold you bro i've seen majority of her fights she been knocking women around her entire career bro so she ain't never had no power uh issues in my honest opinion it's usually her defense 
I'm going to keep it all the way up being. It was usually her defense. And sometimes uh, her, her problem used to be when she get popped by something that she knows she wasn't supposed to get hit with, she'll get down on herself and she'll allow that person to get off six, seven more pops on her until she finally get her mental mind together. So when she said that part about uh, I just had to get it in my head, the will to win and to know that she wasn't uh, that on my level, like I kind of can see her saying that and it being legit. She ain't never had a power issue, in my opinion. Now, if you go back to the Leonardo 2 and the uh, Baumgartner fight, and then you go back and you look at the McCallit versus Baumgartner fight, and you go back and look at the uh, Baumgartner versus Michaela Mayer fight, and the reason why y'all ain't seeing Michaela Mayer come out with nothing to say, bro, let me explain it to y'all, bro. Um, in the Michaela Mayer versus Alicia Baumgartner scenario, Michaela didn't have enough combinations to keep Bum going to guess it. It was one point in the time in the video, if you go back and watch the fight, where they was hitting each other with the same punch. Both was hitting each other with right hooks. And Alicia Bum Gwana was just waiting on her to bring the right hook again, and she stopped, because she was realizing that she was eating more power from Alicia Bum Gwana off the edge of her punches while she's stretching, trying to hit Bum Gwana, because Bum Gwana's standing to a safety net area as far as the outside, uh, uh, outside range is concerned. All right, you go to the McCallit video, you still see Alicia Bum going to popping her with power, but the reason why the power shots don't come off as hard as they do is because McCallit was smothering Bum going. She stayed in her, uh, her chest the whole night, so it was hard for her to get back and let off them power shots on the edge of her power. She really couldn't do it. If you go and you look at Christina Leonardo too, she was standing right in front of Bum Garner. She stood there the majority of the night, and she couldn't get close to make her smother her punches. Now, if you go back and look at the McCallie fight, she knocked her down three times. You come back and you look at the uh, Medusa fight, she didn't get a chance to knock Medusa down because Medusa was at a safe range, but she was eating a ton of power. Not to take nothing from uh, Christina Leonardo too, but let's keep it real. She haven't been competing at this level. She hasn't been, bro. She, she's been really fighting in the dark the dark rooms of the sport of boxing. If you guys know nothing about the dark rooms, if you go to see a fight and the lights aren't super, super bright, you got to think about PBC. You got to think about uh, um, uh, Top Rank. You got to think about Matchroom Boxing, uh, The Zone. Uh, you got to think about those big brands. Bro, you, see, you can see a pin drop on the floor from your TV. You know, you can see blood hit the ground, literally sweat come off somebody's head in that room because that's how many bright lights are on that particular fight. And then you can go and see certain fights. It'd be like, it like a club, like a bar or something. Like, it'd be dark in that arena. You can't see nothing. You can barely even see the punches landing in those particular scenarios. That's the kind of fights that Christina Leonardo has been having as of lately. Those be like eight rounders, sometimes six rounders, sometimes uh, you might get a 10 rounder, but highly doubtful. Sometimes it'll be for a title match, but again, highly doubtful. Again, not taking nothing away from Christina Leonardo too. She just haven't been fighting at a 10 round pace at, at, at the highest level of the sport of boxing under the brightest lights. Versus somebody like uh, an Alicia Baumgartner or Michaela Mayer, to say the least, right? A uh, 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 Katie Taylor. She has fought these ladies. Uh, in, in, well, in Katie Taylor, she's fought Katie Taylor. But she haven't fought them in a long time, bruh. So you can't expect her to go into a, a fight versus a, Alicia Baumgartner. Now, she would have took the Michaela Mayer fight and beat Michaela Mayer. She probably would have had a better fight versus Alicia Baumgartner. But it is what it is. Saying that to say, though, bruh, because I'm, I'm, this video running long. Do I think she she took PEDs? It's still possible, bro. I can't take it from her. It's still possible. But here's the craziest scenario. Tony Harrison, bro. I don't know why they did this. But Tony Harrison wore a, a, a GoPro. He wore a GoPro. The entire fight of Alicia Baumgartner versus Christina Leonardo too. He wore a GoPro, okay? He was mic'd up. So you guys can go and watch him talking to Alicia Baumgartner in her corner, bruh. She didn't look aggressive to me, bruh. She didn't. And, and I don't know whether she was in pain or not from the fight, but he goes at the end of the fight to try to pick her up, and she literally tells him, put me down. You can see her body, like, the way she kind of held her body, like she was really in pain. Now, somebody on, on, on steroids, bruh, I don't know what happened, but if somebody's on steroids, bruh, I don't think she feeling nothing, right? 
She was in pain. She didn't want him to pick him pick her up at the end of the fight. Again, I'm not saying that she didn't cheat, bro. That's not what I'm saying. If it's found, uh, she's found guilty by the board, then let them handle that, bro. But to be calling her a cheat and bad mouthing her name and stuff like that, now I understand certain fans doing that because y'all just green, all right. Some of y'all just green. It is what it is. And, it, and and let's keep it real, bro. Y'all don't even stand up for people who need y'all to stand up for them. But y'all can always come at the people like Barm Garner, come at the people like Terrence Crawford. And then y'all leave uh, Hannah Gabriels defending herself, right? Y'all didn't even give her opportunity to have the, the proper rollout and people coming to her defense. None of that, bro. And I'm not saying that Christina Lenardi to, <coughs> excuse me, deserve to get her behind beat like that. I'm just saying she haven't been fighting on this level. But saying that to say, we should let the proper protocols be done first before we go out here and start bad mouthing Alicia Bum going into the public. Because, bro, that looks bad, bro. She's an undisputed champion. She earned it her way. Um, y'all really think that she ain't been popping people that hard this whole time, bro? Well, if y'all feel that way, then go back and watch her footage. Go back and watch her footage. And I'm, I, It's weird, right? It's weird that people trying to take away all of the stuff that she had to go through, bro. She's already lost in her career, so it's not like she undefeated. Like, you see what I'm saying? She's already taken the L in her, her career. To lose to Christina Lenardi, too, would have been cool, right? She beat her two times in a row. It is what it is, but I don't think she hated the woman. If you really want to be honest about it, not to mention all the love and respect they had for each other after the fight. She did get clocked a lot better, but she couldn't hit uh, Bum going to eat, but she did have a couple of them, bro. She had a couple of them when she was knocking Bum going around the ring. I had seen her digging to the body at first, and it looked to not face her. Not to mention, bro, if y'all go back and watch the Leonardo 2 versus Bum going to fight, the first round she came out dropping bombs. The third, fourth rounds, she couldn't drop as half as much power. It was, it was, it went back to normal. She took the fourth round off. The entire fourth round, she took it off. Of course, if you if you if you building your power back, you're building your, your stamina back up, you're gonna start popping again. And she started popping again in the fifth round, fifth and sixth round. Again, it kind of goes down again in the seventh and the eighth. The ninth and the tenth, she kind of had a little bit of steam on it, but not too much. She did eat a lot of punches, but can I say that she innocent? No. Can I say she guilty? No. Should y'all be saying she guilty? No, bro. Matthew and Boxing been doing some questionable stuff lately, bro. And I'ma stand by the the ideal of truth. So whatever comes out, bro, whatever comes out about it, man, then we can make our claim. But right now, in my opinion, she's innocent until proven guilty. This is the RTH Podcast. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm signing out. Y'all take it easy, bro. Peace. RTH Podcast going live, man, with Brawl Night Champions for members only. Party chat debate for a shot at the Community Board Champion. But remember, it's a fight, so don't get knocked out and lose your place in the ranks. Or if you're just here to be a part of the spectacle, that's cool too. Sign up for the first tier to get front row seats to each event and get exclusive content not seen on YouTube. No my tier, but don't get kicked out. See rule books for more details. Oh yeah, ladies and the legends are included if you want to spectate or go for some gold. Brawl Night Champions, sign up now.